I cannot believe I just got that on film. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to get the sound of me opening the bottle, which still isn't open all the way. But Sprite is good, and I like it. And if I was sponsored by Sprite, I would cry, because it would be amazing. All right, into the topic of the video. I have been getting comments on how I do front shoves out of manuals. Because I posted this, it's a front shove out of a manual, and people want to know how I do it. And a lot of people just assume, oh, you just do like a front shove, you know, just do the little scoop and it just works. Well, yes, but not really. That is how you make it happen, but there's a few extra things you need to do to make sure it, wait, is this, am I in the center of the camera? There's a few extra things you need to do to make it work because if you just do the little scoop thing like you do with sh front shoves it's just gonna pivot on the back wheels and get thrown behind you great now my hands are all sticky i'm about to give you all the tips you need to do a manual front shove out cue the cool cropping me out thing all right let's get right into it first thing you want to do is know how to front shove obviously, because that's the whole trick. So you wanna be able to do it relatively good, you know, just like, you know, five in a row. You're gonna to wanna to know how to do them decently well because you're gonna be doing it a lot and you're gonna to have to do it out of a manual. So you're gonna to have, to, to have to have it down really good. Second is the manual, you want that down. And you wanna be able to do the manual where you can pop out of it, you know, do the whole like ollie out instead of just rolling off. That's really important. Um, you wanna be able to do that to where you could like, you know, check your Facebook status and you know, update your Instagram status and, you know, text your girlfriend and tell her you're going to be home late because you just learned manual front shoves. And once you get both of those down good, you're going to, you're going to start working on it. And if you can't do the manual, you know, pop out a manual thing, I have a whole video on it. I have a whole video explaining how to do it. So you should definitely look into that. Once you have both of those down, what you're going to want to do is get into the manual. And then once you get to doing the front shove out, you're going to want to use your back foot and you pop down and forward and then your front foot's just gonna kind of stay where it's at and it's gonna wrap around your front foot and you're gonna land it right before you do the pop down and scoop it forward you're gonna want to dip the nose down just very slightly or a little bit more than that you're gonna want to experiment with it and see what helps you the best for me it's different every time I do it sometimes I just need a little bit of a little bit of a dip down or sometimes I need more of a dip down I do this like you can see a skateboard but this is the front of the skateboard you know just whoop. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to lift, it's going to help you get a little bit more momentum up so when you do the scoop, it's not going to not pop enough. So it's the your two wheels that you're holding down on the manual aren't going to stay on the ground and then it's going to pivot around those if you don't do it. So you want a little bit of a pop just to keep it from sticking to the ground basically and it's going to stick to your feet instead. So you're going to go and you're going to be rolling you know you got you get in you're rolling on your back two wheels and you're going and you dip down slightly and then as you're going up you push out this way so it's kind of like a you know so you really want the you know the dip and popping out of the manual as good as possible because if you're gonna be doing any manual tricks out of anything it honestly is the only way to go but for this trick in particular the shove out you're gonna want to do that just a little bit before you pop so you have the momentum to scoop it out and pop it out of the, you know, off of the ground so you can catch it. You want to keep in mind this is a front shove, so you're going to be catching it with your front foot. So as it's doing it, you scoop it with your back foot, you just get it up, and then it's basically just, you know, it's just up. You're just hanging it up like this, you know, it's up, just up there. And then it's going to wrap around your front foot, and you're going to catch it and land on that one, and then you can put your back foot down. It's going to look better if you catch it with your front foot, so why not just you know learn it that way you don't have to but I think it looks better when you catch them with your front foot and then you know you just sort of exaggerate a little bit but you don't have to do that right away you can focus on just making the trick happen and then you know later you if you want to make it look better you can just do that roll away go do another trick do a line maybe like a another front shove to get the board back to you know where your foot the nose is forward so you can go do another trick or something eventually you'll get so good at it that you can combine it with other manual tricks you know like what I like to do a lot is kickflip manual front shoves those feel nice those feel really nice I love them a lot I feel like I'm in Tony Hawk's pro skater when I do that trick you know just like you know kickflip manual front shove manual and it's doing the whole like you know two time point thing you know if you play Tony Hawk's pro skater you know what I'm talking about oh. You know what I'm talking about. I have to go wash my hands now because I have Sprite all over them and my hands are sticky. 
If you guys have uh, have this trick down, any variation of it, any variation of a shove it out of a manual, tag me in it on uh, Instagram. My Instagram's in the description. Or you can, uh, if you post it on YouTube, you can comment down below and I'll go check out your channel and I'll go watch it. Out of all the people that are going to put the stuff in the comments, I will subscribe to my favorite one. Whoever can land the best one, I will subscribe to you, in my opinion. There might be like a really good one, but I just like the style of another one. But my favorite one, I'll pick my favorite one and I'll subscribe to you. Start filming. Ugh. Ah, so sticky. That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs>